Hey, hello there, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for the week of January 13th to the 19th of 2019. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take the portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe and like and comment. I really love you guys do that, and it helps to bring your vibrations into the future readings. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment on how to attract appreciation. So, okay, Pisces. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere of the week. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Queen of Cups, this can be you, Pisces. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is a mature and sensitive, empathetic woman. The Queen of Cups. This shows that water is flowing into her dress. And that's telling us that she does not repress her emotions. The closed lid on the cup represents her thoughts, that they are in the realm of the unconscious. This water queen is intuitively equipped to successfully decipher dreams and tarot cards and synchronicities. This person could be a mother or a counselor. They're creative. They're an artist. They even have psychic ability. They're loyal and authentic. And they blend all these attributes with mature judgment. This water element, they lead with their heart over their head. And she may require solitude to refresh herself. And they love being near water. Your second card this is the energies that are crossing over your path. Number five of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. This card can represent a Taurus. This is a union. It could be a marriage. It's blessed. The five, the Hierophant. This is assistance from a wise and helpful person. This is some kind of wisdom that's going to be revealed. And uh, I think there may be someone that's going to have a baby. Congratulations. This is a need for social approval and a need to conform to society. It is a path that's already laid out. This is a scholarly card full of social graces and blessings and this is a partnership and someone with a good stabilizing influence is about to enter your life. This is a desire to perform great works. It's taking the high road and living by a higher code. It's moral or ethical matters. Sometimes it's ministering or teaching, or learning, or making a vow and receiving a blessing, in some cases even signing a contract. But this is acting with integrity, which is its own reward. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. This is your attitude. The seven of wands, fire energy. This is standing your ground and your hopes are justified there's any problems, you're going to take care of them. No problem. The Seven of Wands, Pisces. This is competition in business or social areas. It's excitement of conflict. But you're ready to face the challenges. And you are on the path to progress. You're using unhurried effort. 
This is standing up to what matters and defending what matters. It's perseverance. And this is your you using your determination. And you will win the day, and you do have the position of advantage. This is a chance to prove yourself. It could be your finest hour. Test may come. You're fighting for what you believe in. So have faith in yourself. Your, your hope is justified, and you are taking a stand. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the results, the outcome, and the advice. The Two of Swords, this is air energy. This is stasis and indecision. You do not have enough information right yet to make this in, this decision. So you're in stasis. It leaves you at a crossroads. You need to collect some facts. The Two of Swords, Pisces. This could be you haven't made this decision because it's kind of stressful. You're uncertain. It's just that you may not wish to offend someone that's involved. Or you may be denying the truth of something so you don't have to deal with it. But ignorance or denial can cause you to be stuck in a circular emotional pattern. You might be frightened or unsure of which way to move so then you do nothing at all. You might just try to ignore it. You might need to listen to learn something. It could be a secret. So ask questions. Contemplate your options. And listen to both sides of the story. And good is going to come from a courageous decision. But collect those facts. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, it's what's unseen. Number three of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Empress. This, cool, this card is ruled by Venus. Could be you or someone you know that has Venus in their chart. This is fertility and abundance. This is great for time to start a family it's because it carries with it blessings number three the empress this is a material abundance card this is fruitfulness this is also love through and compassion through nurturing this is passion for your home and your health and family this could be the birth of a child, or even a new idea, or an energy. This is both financial and emotional support. Could stand for a mother, or a female authority. This indicates that your health is going to improve, and there's going to be natural growth. Thanks you guys, now leave me a comment and stay tuned in. So take note, for this is key. If we want to attract appreciation for the things we do, then we need to move through our lives by appreciating and complimenting others. If we are finding fault with another, then we have just invited others to find fault with us. If we judge another, then we have just brought judgment to ourselves. And when we appreciate others, we bring appreciation to ourselves. We have to make the quality dominant in ourselves first before we can attract it in our outside world. Thanks, you guys. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm sending you out love and light. Thanks for watching.